Hey there, curious cats! Today we're going to talk about one of the most celebrated Celtic traditions around the world, St. Patrick's Day. We hope you find some useful nuggets in our video. Do like and subscribe to keep your curiosity satisfied. First question, why is St. Patrick's Day celebrated around the world? Well, it's all because of St. Patrick, of course. He's the patron saint of Ireland and is known for bringing Christianity to the Emerald Isle. But who is St. Patrick? As the patron saint of Ireland, he must be Irish, right? Well, surprise, surprise, he was actually Welsh. Scholars believe he was born into a rich family in Wales, but was kidnapped and sent to Ireland as a slave. After six years, he finally escaped his captors, took up religious studies and became a priest. He later returned to Ireland, making good use of his knowledge of Irish language and culture to spread the word about Christianity. What did St. Patrick do? Well, he did a lot. He's most famous for driving the snakes out of Ireland, but there aren't any snakes in Ireland in the first place, so that's probably just a legend. What we do know is that he spent his life spreading Christianity and building churches throughout Ireland. He's even credited with creating the Celtic cross, and that's why he's so important to the Irish. St. Patrick died on March 17th in the late 5th century. The cause of his death is unknown, but some legends say he died of natural causes, while others say he was poisoned by his enemies. Either way, it's the death that St. Patrick's Day commemorates. St. Patrick's Day is widely celebrated in the United States because of the large population of Irish immigrants who settled here in the 19th and 20th centuries. They brought with them their traditions and customs, including the celebration of St. Patrick's Day, turning the religious holiday into a largely secular occasion that celebrates Irish culture. As the Irish-American community grew and became more prominent, so did the celebration of St. Patrick's Day. Today, it's one of the most widely celebrated holidays in the US with parades, parties and cultural events taking place across the country. Some of the largest parades can be found in cities like Chicago, Boston and New York City. Around the world, it is celebrated in as far-flung countries as New Zealand, Japan and Singapore. Now, you may be wondering, why does everyone wear green on St. Patrick's Day? Is it because St. Patrick himself loved the colour green? Nope. It's a reminder of Irish nationalism. The green on the left third of the Irish flag symbolises republicanism. It also helps that Ireland is known as the Emerald Isle. There's a legend that says if you don't wear green on St. Patrick's Day, you'll get pinched by a leprechaun. But that was just a cheeky myth that originated in America. Ouch! And let's not forget about beer or Guinness, which has become a staple of St. Patrick's Day celebrations everywhere. It may not be the most traditional way to celebrate, but it sure is a fun one. One more thing you might be wondering about is why the phrase Kiss Me I'm Irish seems to be heard or seen on t-shirts and hats during the festivities. Well, it's said to have its roots in a centuries-old tradition of smooching a rock specifically the Blarney Stone at Blarney Castle in County Cork. Legend has it that if you kiss the Blarney Stone, you'll be blessed with the gift of the gab and good luck. So for over 200 years, visitors have been climbing those castle steps to plant a big kiss on that famous stone. But not all of us can make it to Blarney Castle, so kissing an Irish person is the next best thing. So there you have it, curious cats. St. Patrick's Day is all about celebrating the life and legacy of St. Patrick, Irish culture, enjoying some tasty beverages with friends, avoiding pinching leprechauns, and giving strangers a kiss. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Curious Cats.